and genetic computer. We offer cultural computing as a method for cultural translation that uses scientific methods to represent the essential aspects of culture, including images new to computing, such as those of Eastern thought and Buddhism, and the Sansui paintings, poetry, and kimono that evoke these images, we projected the communication style developed by Zen schools over hundreds of years into an exotic Eastern Sansui world. Encountering Zen koans and haiku poetry, the user must confirm the whereabouts of her self-consciousness. Wise man? Sonno joshi, sonno joshi. Rock. Sansui ink painting. We divided Sansui tradition into 12 hieroglyphs, such as moon and water. The user constructs a 3D Sansui painting with the icons using the unique San En perspective. Ko En, far and viewed from below. He En, viewed straight on. And Shin En, close and viewed from above. Graphics correspond to the San En area of the user's icons increasing the realism of the painting. Bridge. Traveler. さ、さんせんにだきこまれるように入っていきなさい。宿の春、何もなきこそ何もあれ。when the user finishes creating the Sansui painting, she can walk through the three-dimensional Sansui space she created by operating the rock garden interface using a touch panel. By approaching any Sansui icon within the space, a haiku poem or Zen dialogue appears based on the combination of Sansui icons framed in the display. Interaction using a Buddhist model for human recognition Zenetic Computer's interaction model is based on the Buddhist communication method between Zen master and pupil, a method built on the deep understanding of human nature and followed for over 2,000 years. This kind of interaction has yet to be researched within Western science. Sansui World Expression based on world model Godai. In Buddhism, there is a strong relationship between the directions and the five elements constructing the world sky, water, fire, wind, and earth. Upon walking through the Sansui painting world, changes in weather based on Godai appear depending on the direction of movement. Goun are the elements at the core of the Buddhist thought in which five basic physical and mental elements make up the world. In this interactive system, we apply these elements in the classification of personality. One. Shiki, superficial appearance of the so-called reality. Two, Ju, intuitive impressions. Three, So, perceived images. Four, Gyo, activation of behavior. Five, Shiki, the deep mind behind all of the above. We prepare a two-dimensional Goun space made up of 10 areas with these values along the vertical axis and their strength, positive or negative, along the horizontal. Dual synchronized chaos controlled interaction. Zen dialogues are controlled by both cooperative and oppositional interactions between the current state of the user, the user's goal, target, and the teacher that guides the user, Zen master. To simulate this process, a model is used wherein the system's interaction response depends on the interaction of user, target, and Zen master. However, one cannot achieve a variety of interactions spanning several uses. In order to solve this problem, we must introduce a fluctuation. To realize this fluctuation, we use a method for the dual synchronization of chaos, synchronizing three or more chaos states. Our system adopts three chaos states corresponding to the user, target, and Zen master. The three chaos states relate to one another, moving through Goun space, 
and generate an output corresponding to their interactions. With the basis of Zen, activity, as the axis, the Goun value rises the more active a user is, and falls the less active he is. There is a small river running here. Zen dialogue interactions. A person. When the user approaches an object in the painting, a Zen event occurs, where one interactively experiences a koan. Have you ever seen this kind of fish before? Ha! <laughs> it's a catfish. Well, try to catch it. It's slippery. Not easy to catch. What will you do? It'll take more than that. It's difficult, right? How about trying to scoop it out with a spoon? It's difficult, right? Ah, it'll take more than that. No, no. Slippery catfish. In the dialogue, the catfish and the gourd, the purpose is for the user to free themselves from both predator and prey. Only through this can they find true success. In the koan Dharma Anjin, Dharma shows his pupil that a troubled spirit is all in the mind. We translated this into an interaction where the user sketches his inner spirit. It seems there's an important notice. <laughs> Call me. Ah. What were you doing? Were you dreaming? Every existing thing is nothing. At the same time, nothing is existing. Nothing is emerging, and nothing is dying. Nothing is innocent, and nothing is sinful. Nothing increases, and nothing decreases. What were you doing? Were you dreaming? Did the bull dream a butterfly? Or did the butterfly have a dream of a bull? Everything looks like melting together. <laughs> <laughs> 